Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate wind loads in RAM Elements Connect Edition. The wind load generator in RAM Elements can generate wind load pressures for enclosed, partially enclosed, and open structures according to the ASCE 7 main wind force resisting system. Within this course, we will demonstrate the workflow for generating wind loads for both enclosed and open building structures through a separate series of videos for each structure type. Before we begin that process, let's go over the workflow for generating wind loads in REM elements, which will be the same for both structure types. The first step in generating wind loads in REM elements is to create the relevant wind load definitions that will be applicable to your structure. Through the wind definition, you will provide RAM elements with all of the relevant code parameters that it needs in order to calculate the design wind pressures. Next, you will apply the wind loads to the structure using your wind definition that you previously created. Finally, you will be able to review your wind load configuration and calculations through the wind load reports that are available within the program. RAM Elements uses the ASC 716, Chapter 26 and 27 to calculate the design wind pressures for building structures. Since all wind calculations closely follow the code requirements, it is recommended that you are familiar with the ASC 7 and have access to the code while creating your wind definitions to ensure that all parameters are set appropriately and to ensure that all pressure types and wind directions are accounted for. We will now turn our attention to the open building structure that was supplied with this training. As you can see, all of the structural geometry and properties have already been defined in this model and we are now ready to generate and apply the main wind force resisting system loads. Before we do that, let's first discuss the relevant code parameters and the wind load cases that we will use throughout this series of videos. Based on our structure type and location, we will generate wind loads considering the following design parameters, including the basic wind speed, exposure, and topography. Next, based on our structure type, which for this example is an open structure with a gable roof system, we will consider the following wind directions and cases in the final design. As you can see, the relevant wind load cases have already been created for this sample model. Throughout this series of videos, we will generate and apply wind loads for the open structure for one of the wind load cases in each direction, both the X and the Z direction. Then, for the final design, we will review the completed structure with all wind load cases filled and all wind load cases applied. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.